Hi guys, it's Rob with Deluxe Gaming. Welcome back. All right, here we are. I am making my video a day sooner than I had planned because my goal today was to come and uh, before doing a video, just do a little bit of mining and kind of wait for the uh, refineries to work on some silver so that we could continue. I could uh, get these reactor components built so that by tomorrow. Um, we have 2,000 ready to go. However, it's taken a really long time, and I refuse, absolutely refuse to cheat. I did not come this far to start cheating and speeding it up in the uh, in the settings. So I have decided that uh, we need we need more refineries running. Um, I don't know how much more we could put up. Let's see, we're at power wise. Uh, we're at. 50, on the bottom right hand corner, power usage 54%. I'm thinking we could probably get another two, if not three, more refineries running. Um, so yeah, the hold up right now is simply the speed at which we are refining, re uh, refi <laughs> refining, uh, refining raw silver into processed silver so that we can build the reactor components. So currently I have the second assembler, assembler number two, which is the new assembler that we built on the last episode, building just reactor components. And like I said, it can only go so fast. Uh, don't worry about this gravel, I've got lots of stone, I can grind that down pretty quick. But as you can see, all, every single refinery we have right now is processing silver. And we're producing one reactor component like every uh, 10 seconds? It's not fast enough. Uh, we, we, we need more refineries running. So, the goal of this episode is to get more refineries running. Um, also, I would like to get our uh, dock here moved over to here so it's out of the way. And um, in this episode, also, I would like to build our interior or our floor here, get that ready, and remove these armor blocks from this side and put down the floor here. Uh, basically, I want to get it ready so that we can just place our reactor, which is going to go right here, down as soon as we have those parts. Um, so first things first, let's get uh, let's get our refineries built. So we left off here. We still need lots of steel plates. Oh, the other thing I did while in uh, while I was on my own here is empty out these cargo containers. So nothing. Nothing. We're no longer going to use them. We're actually going to dis uh, dismantle them. Now everything is all in our massive cargo container. Thank goodness. Now I can actually clearly see exactly what we have at any given time. Very, very, very handy. Uh, I am building more steel plates too as well, in case you're wondering, because only, it was only like 500 there. Okay, one more load of steel plates and this refinery will be good to go. And that'll put us up to five, and we will have five refineries <laughs> solely working on silver. I, I remembered silver slow, and I remembered that I needed a lot of um, of these reactor components to build the the large reactor. You need two thousand, and uh, for each one of these, you need like I don't know, like five kilograms of refined silver, and it takes a long time. Anyway, so let's get. Uh, I might have to take some steel plates from the assembler here. Probably not, actually. Probably have enough. Um, still need just a little bit. This assembler here is working on lots of steel plates. Let's make sure it just keeps going. Doing exactly that. So lots and lots. Yeah, see, so you start to get to a point where you have multiple assemblers each one producing one particular type of part. It, it, it just needs to happen. Um, when you're playing on this difficulty setting, um, it just needs to happen. I mean, these refineries, look, it's 1,200 steel plates. I need a lot of steel plates. And they do build pretty quick, but, you know. And really, there's absolutely no worry of me running out of iron um, with all the mining I've done in this place. Like, I could build so many refineries, it's ridiculous. If it was just steel plates that I was worried about. I could build the ship out of refineries. 
which I'm tempted to do, just to build, uh, <laughs> get this, the, all the silver from them. I do have lots of silver. Uh, I should have enough anyway. I've got uh, tens of thousands of raw silver. It should be more than enough. Okay, we have another refinery up and running. And as I mentioned in the last episode, to get it activated, so notice it's not pulling from the, uh, the system here. From the conveyor system. So to get it activated and working, kind of got to nudge it a little bit. So go to your cargo container. Let's move over. Silver. And now it will start grabbing its own stuff. But all I care about right now is silver. Okay. All right. So that should speed up that process. Um, really, we should. Oh, uh, let me just take a quick look at all of our refineries. So 24k, 12k, 7.6k, 1.95k. Oh, we have a refinery not actually processing silver. Uh, so let's get another. Let's get. 3k, oh, I'm going to talk to 4k, right, and we're going to move some gravel over to, or some stone to the other one, we'll crush that pretty quickly, perfect, we don't have to worry about that, alright, now, uh, I think we should do one more refinery, Yes, let's do one more refinery. Maybe we'll do that after we do some flooring here. Yeah, we'll just wait. So let's do get some of our floor built. And I will start disassembling this as well. Uh, let's just empty out Nugget, make sure there's nothing else in Nugget, so that... Yeah, I had some accidents in... Uh, in the in-between here. I ran into the uh, little platform there a couple times and destroyed the unbuilt interior plates. A whole schwack of them, so I had to replace. And that's, you know, that's why you need, need to have them built. Okay, there. Uh, small drills are empty. The medium cargo container is empty. We can undock. Yeah, this the location of the dock here is no longer convenient. We're gonna place it sort of in front of the ship. It's still gonna be another temporary position for this for this particular dock. But I wanna kinda I want it out of the way. Alright. Alright. Good. Alright, let's take down this sucker. plates on me. You know what? Why waste it? Let's put down our refinery. We're just going to put it down, like put down the frame. Actually, well, no, we got to build those interior plates first. What am I talking about? We don't have to. I could, I can make, I can be fancy and build these even after I put the refinery down, but it's just so much easier to put the uh, interior walls down first. All right. Now, uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward while I uh, while I do this part because yes, this is about construction, but I want it to be interesting construction. But I don't I don't want you guys to miss the actual any construction. So for the boring construction, we're just going to speed up time here a little bit and uh, throw on uh, throw on the tune. Okay, talk to you in a bit here.
All right, guys. Okay, I'm back here. Uh, yeah. Look at that. We built a uh, a floor. I don't hate the color, but I'm not in love with it either. Um, I'm not terribly happy with the way that this transitions. I thought it would be a lot smoother. I thought, you know, like, if you're walking here, but, you know, it looks like you might have to actually jump. Yeah, you know, I... I'm, I'm going to leave it for now because I've got, you know, bigger fish to fry right now. And, you know, we're going to have little hauls in between. But I was kind of hoping the transition would be a little bit better. It would be kind of cool if uh, there was a pane of glass over top of that or something. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out later. Uh, right now, what we have to do is we need to... Uh, we really need to get that uh, new refinery planted. We need to get this moved. And the sooner I get that new refinery planted... Oh! Ah, damn it. <laughs> I should have recharged before I, uh... Turned off fast time. Yeah, so I want to get that refinery planted anyway. And, uh, we should... We probably have enough... In... Goodies to put it together now. There's production... Oh! What do you mean you're out of... Out of iron. What? You know, sometimes I, with the assemblers connecting each other, like the assembler connected to an assembler, it doesn't move or in or, or refined or into the second, into the deeper assemblers, unless they're actually directly connected to the conveyor system. Sometimes, and I, you know, I'm going to continue to test this, and if that's the case, you know, I'll, I'll have to uh, change how I do my conveyor system. I'm sure it's not how the uh, devs envisioned it. Maybe it is, I don't know. Uh, I think it's kind of weird. I have lots of iron, so, it, you know, I could have used it. Damn it. Okay. Okay, well, uh, it'll be pretty close anyway. We'll be able to put it down. So let's get it down anyway want to be sure it's uh, oriented the right way. Okay. Refinery. You guys are like, wow, that's a lot of refineries. Yeah, no. Not when you're on this difficulty setting. Ten is that magical number. At least I have found. Okay, so we want it to be exactly the same, just upside down. Like that. Okay, so I think that's correct. So this is how we have them placed underneath. Oops. Right. So I think that's right. Where's the door? So I just want to make sure the doors are kind of... The doors would be kind of lined up here. <sighs> Sorry guys, just a sec. I need to go for a second. Just to orient. Oh, perfect. Yeah, let's see. The doors will line up. Oh no. No, they won't. Okay. There we go. That's what we want. We want to be sure that the doors on either side will line up for any connections that we may have to make later. I don't know how we're going to connect it all together yet, but I uh, just want to be sure it's all compatible. See, I may, maybe I want it more compatible on the side here. You know what? I think I do. I think I'd rather have it compatible. So in other words, a door. Oh, what the hell did I do? Oh crap. Oh crap. <laughs> I had it all worked out. Okay. Rotate? No. Damn it. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. No. How do I... Ah, son of a... Ah, 
<sighs> okay. Is that right? No, we want the doors on the side to match. So I just need to turn. No. Yes. Yes, that's what we wanted. Excellent. Like so. So this door that's going to be right here will match with this door. Or do we want this door to match this door? Yeah, I've changed my mind. I do that. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, we're going to do it uh, the way I originally had planned. I want the these doors to match. hell. That is not what I intended. Again. For God's sakes. <laughs> the vets out there, I, I, you vets out there, I'm sure you're like, ah, oh, this is torturous. Okay, perfect. We've got a bit of a problem. Let's dig that out. Uh, bugger. Well, I, I'll be able to get in there, I think. Ah, I better just be sure. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to dig that out just a touch. I thought I had lots of room, but I guess I don't. sure we're not building into the rock for obvious reasons and just leave just a little bit of room in between so that eventually I can kind of weasel the uh, weasel nugget in there. There we go. Good. Okay. Motor, large, construction, steel. refineries. Oh, and it's taken four weeks to get to this point. Of course I don't play this every day, but I think it works out. I think we're at like eight, nine hours of gameplay, not including the time that I mine on my own. And I don't know, I'd love to know your guys' opinion. Am I just really slow? I don't think so. I think this is just, it's the difficulty level. It's totally the difficulty level. Now, if there was other people in here, it would be, of course, considerably easier or faster anyway. But uh, for this episode, I'm okay with torturing, torturing myself, putting myself through this. I, I love it. Honestly, I love it. Uh, this is a labor of love. I must really enjoy doing this. Otherwise, you know, why would I do? <laughs> I, this is not the funny thing. Is this is not the first time I have done a ship like this in this difficulty setting by myself. This is just the first time I've done it um, on video. <laughs> ah, crazy bastard. 
Why, you say? Why? I don't know why. It's just really, 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 really satisfying. Sure, it w I can, and within 20 seconds, I could put all this together in creative mode, and it would mean nothing. Absolutely nothing. For those of you that have not experienced survival, because, oh, it's just too hard. You know what? There is nothing. You can't compare the satisfaction between this and creative mode. Creative don't get me wrong, creative mode has its uses. I use it all the time, especially for my other show, and when I'm just trying things out, absolutely. But I feel like it's it's just, to me, it's like drawing out blueprints for something you're really going to do later. Okay, so we've got another refinery. We need to connect it to the system, and I think what we'll do is connect it right there. We're just going to put it through the floor, which means we're going to dig this sucker out. Yes, we build everything just to tear it down. That's how we roll. Sometimes you don't know exactly what you're going to do until it's done. I can plan a little better, but then where's the fun in that? Uh, we're going to do the a conveyor right here on the bottom floor, so it's not as visible. I want the top floor to be a little more commandy. Hence why I built those cargo containers in the, uh, or built that cargo container in the floor. I thought it would be kind of out of the way. Little did I know is, little did I know is it's going to be kind of wonky. It's okay. Right now it's okay. We don't even have gravity. Well, we've got gravity, but it's going the wrong direction. Okay, construction components. Uh... Pardon my French. Uh, bulletproof, we're gonna need. Uh. Sorry, I just. I get chatty and then I, I don't pay attention. You're right, at this point, I should know exactly what goes into every single piece here. Running out of power. Just need some interior plates. At least that's what I would be thinking if, if I was watching this. I'd be like, you've done this how many times? How many hours have you spent this game? playing this game and you still don't know what goes in every part. Uh, it's, I just, I don't want to have to make room in my brain to memorize any more new stuff when I don't have to. In other words, why memorize what goes into a conveyor when in a moment's notice I can actually just look it up. Okay, let's go recharge. Well, this will help out tremendously in terms of finishing off the reactor components for our large reactor. Pretty excited. Power usage is at 67.26%. That's without the last refinery actually doing anything. Because right now it's sitting idle. So I think this will push our power usage up to, what, 75, 80%? Which is uh, getting up there. And once it reaches... 100%. Everything shuts down unless you uh, tear something up or turn something off. Right. And we need a corner piece. Yeah, I had to do some uh, repairs on Nugget. Too. Nugget, uh, I hit a wall. Blew up. Uh, Blew up a couple pieces of the conveyor tubing on Nugget, so I had to repair that. Uh, oh, motor. Right. Motor. There we go. Oh, construction components, of course. I thought I grabbed lots of those. And now, with I only technically need the one tube to connect everything on the top level. I'll probably build a second connection. It's just good to have some redundant systems. But we don't we don't want to go too crazy with redundant systems because uh, you know this is survival and we're we're building because we have to. But we still want some. Uh, we, I want it to be symmetrical, so I'm probably going to build a similar thing over here, maybe one in the center. I don't know. 
Anyway, she's connected. Perfect. So let's uh, let's get her work in. All right. Sorry, I've just kind of lost track of what I was doing. I was thinking about something else. Okay, so we need... Let's go to our large cargo container. Let's find our new refinery. Refinery 7. We should probably grab some of the... silver that's being... I think I have one that had like 20k. There we go. Right there. We're gonna stock this guy too. So we'll just give him like... 4,000, it's not 40, All right, and we're going to put 5,000 here, perfect, awesome, see, fills right up, okay, let's see how we're doing for factory components, assembly two. Why is it stuck? Why is it stuck? What's going on? Oh, come on. Assembler 2. Why are you stuck? Are you, are you kidding me? Uh, see, some of these, uh, the conveyor system still bugs me. It stopped, I think, because, let's just be sure, missing items. Well, why don't you, I don't understand. How can you be missing items? Why don't you grab it from the system? Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, well, I'm gonna put the... See, this takes twice as long when everything just shuts down for no good reason. How would it do that? Oh, man. That's so irritating. Ah! Ah, so... It... For some reason, the assembler just stopped pulling silver from the system. Ah, so dumb. So dumb! Uh, it'll all get fixed in time. I know, it's an alpha. Still love the game, I don't care. Call me a fanboy, whatever you want. So we're still only up to 780 reactor components, but now, at least when I'm mining on my own, it's working at least 50% uh, faster than what it was beforehand. So, while I still got you guys here, we're gonna tear this down and rebuild it. Oh crap, no! Oh, oh somebody catch that license plate? Oh crap. Why was there stuff in that connector? Aw, oh, damn it. Ha! Alright. Aw, oh, so dumb. Why would there be stuff in the connector? Man. Alright. Whatever. Aw, oh, damaged it too. Like those parts, those tubes. I don't understand why it would all sit in the connector. Why wouldn't it go into the cargo containers? That's so dumb. Devs, you gotta fix the conveyor system. It's a good start, man. Fix it. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? Right, we're gonna build the dock for the ship. And I wanna kinda have it out of the way. Like I said, this is gonna be a temporary, temporary thing. Oh, that was a big chunk of iron, I think. I'll go collect all that stuff later. <laughs> Not the first time during this uh, series that I have done like something like that, right? Uh, oh, well. You know what? I'm actually going to make that come further this way, like so, yeah, and then maybe over one, and then up, and then up, how much room do we have here? Oh, lots of room, we're going to do a corner, so, and she can dock right there. All right, we just need a connector. Uh, 
looks like so. No, looks a little convoluted, but that's what I want. Construction components, motors, steel tubes, bulletproof. Oh, looks like we got enough bulletproof. Right, it would be really handy for me to memorize some of this. Motors, that was the big one. Motors, whatever, let's just ease up what we got here. You're right. You guys, I'm sure you're saying memorize, memorize some of this. After this long playing the game, you should just know it. So, motors and displays and computers, steel plates. Motors, displays, computers. We now have computers. Computers and steel plates. I'll just get them over here. Now I'm gonna have to watch these assemblers, man. They're just stopping randomly like that one did again? Kidding me? Oh man, that is not cool. We've got lots of iron. We can grab it. If anybody knows how to solve this problem, please let me know so that I can uh, fix that. It's not actually taking any of my refined ore from large cargo container. I don't understand. In either of the assemblers, the one that's directly connected to the conveyor system and the one that's, that is connected to the other assembler, in either case, they're not pulling. Which I don't get. And I've, I've had issues like this before, but us usually, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe it's just the system isn't, it's not, they're not done building, you know, all of, working out all the, the bugs. A lot of bugs, I'm sure, to work out. Still an alpha, I get it, I know. But sometimes I forget, because it is, it does feel like such a complete product. And I, I listen to all the complainers on Steam, and I go, what? I mean, how can you guys complain? This is, it's so, so good for what it is, like... Like, what an accomplishment. This It's just so awesome. Just love it so much. Yeah, there's there's issues, but they, they're doing a great job, I think, in, in fixing a lot of the things that need to be fixed. And adding new content, like, weekly. New content, every Thursday. Like, how many publishers do that? Not many, I tell you. Especially for these these early accesses. I mean, there's a few really good companies, but and then there's some like I, I'm not going to mention any names, but there's there's some that just don't. Okay, our uh, everything here is up and running. Perfect. Look at that. Ha ha. Now I don't know how I'm doing for time here. Uh, I'm just gonna tear this up and these cargo containers up but you know what I'm gonna call it an episode I'm not sure how I'm doing for time and uh, you know maybe I'll put up another another uh, another one right away here okay I hope you're enjoying the episode or the episodes guys I I'm I'm really enjoying doing it uh, I think we're making a lot of progress now it's it's starting to look cool and uh, pretty soon we're gonna be adding our reactor which marks a significant uh, point in our growth here. Um, as soon as we get that reactor in, I feel completely comfortable to start putting in drills. 
and we're going to put in drills down here in the front, and we're going to start uh, making our way, or making some serious room with the actual ship itself that's going to have thrusters. It's going to be awesome. I'm, I'm really happy. And once we get enough room in here, we're going to start building a shell around it. You get the idea. It's going to be super cool. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Please subscribe and like. Uh, you have no idea how much that's helping me out, and it, and it keeps me motivated, right? So thanks a lot, guys. Take care.